Okay, so I know you guys want to know the tea on the new Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter collection. I'm going to show you guys what I purchased. Also, a demo of the products and what I think about them. So, I believe this collection is called Catch the Light. And she released a bunch of highlighters, some brushes. So, the day they launched, I went online. And by the time I went online, the palette was sold out. But I did purchase the Mood Light powder, which is like the bigger powder. And then I also purchased the smaller loose powder which is the beaming light loose highlighter and i got the bundle for each of those so they did come with a brush for each one i did find it interesting that the collection sold out really quickly and then they restocked it like two weeks later i feel like that's a really quick restock normally when a collection really does actually sell out it does take a little while for it to restock for example the tati beauty palette it hasn't restocked for like a month and then the jeffree star and shane collection that's not gonna restock till next year i don't know it kind of makes me believe that they made it seem like they were sold out but they weren't really sold out i don't really like that type of business like strategies but i can see why businesses do that but given the reputation of like jacqueline cosmetics i feel like they need to be like extremely transparent with everything that they do if they're not transparent with everything and they're not being honest i feel like people are not really going to trust the brand and they're not going to want to purchase products from the brand so i did want to just mention that right off the bat i really want to cover like everything in this video getting into the products i did get the shade carrots on the loose powder and the shade high volt in the beaming light loose highlighter i was actually really not that interested in the highlighter palette um, i just felt like it was a really pricey highlighter palette it's 49 dollars. it just comes with highlighters i can understand like the ghost edit palette from hourglass it is a pricey palette but it comes with a bronzer highlighter and blush so I feel like you get multiple uses from that palette but from the Jaclyn Cosmetics highlighter palette I don't need that many highlighters and a palette I wasn't really that upset that I didn't get the palette so when I got my package it came in a box like this and it says Jaclyn on the inside so the bundles did come in larger boxes I wasn't expecting that I thought they were gonna come like separately or I wasn't sure I did notice that it does come with bubble wrap which recently Recently, I've seen some brands use paper packaging like the KKW Beauty and Tati Beauty, which minimizes plastic use and things like that. That's one thing that I didn't really like about the packaging. So the packaging of the highlighters are like a frosted jar and silver mirrored lids. And then the brushes have plastic handles as well. They do have Jacqueline's name on them. And I really like the packaging. On the box, it says bring out that inner glow with this magical luminous powder and multi-purpose powder brush that were made for each other. Our super soft brush features the latest synthetic technology and applies our powder smoothly and evenly for a gorgeous lip from within look. On the Beaming Light Duo box, it says dazzle them with this ultra beaming highlighter and feathery fan brush. Our high impact formula delivers an intense yet buildable wet shine look. So the Mood Light bundle is $49, which is a $56 value. So you do save some money by buying the bundle. And then the Beaming Light Duo is $39 which is a $44 value. So I was actually nervous when I ordered the products because the lighter shades were sold out. I was kind of just winging it and hoping that these shades would work with my skin tone. So on the packaging, it actually does not say which one is the beaming light and then which one is the mood light. It does have the shade name at the bottom. So this one is high volt and it comes with four grams. The high voltage shade is a dazzling rose 
gold which is the middle shade she did come out with five different shades which i do like that she came out with a shade range so there's something for everyone so it covers a bunch of skin tones which i do really like that about the collection so it does come with a protective sticker that you take off and then i went ahead and swatched it on my hand and holy cow you guys this highlighter is beaming it is definitely a beaming highlighter the formula feels really smooth actually when swatched it on my hand a little creamy i would say mostly just felt really really smooth and silky for loose highlighters i expect for them to be like super glittery but this particular highlighter did not swatch glittery it just looked really smooth but like super metallic i did swatch these in daylight so you guys can see like the true colors of the highlighter and i was actually really impressed with the swatch of this highlighter but after swatching it i do feel like this highlighter would go with my skin tone i don't have it on my face right now i am gonna try it on live so moving on to the mood light in the packaging you can actually see that it does have luminosity to it but the formula does look more powdery the mood light powder is 32 dollars by itself the beaming light highlighter it's $24 by itself so the shade carrots is also the one in the middle there's five different shades which is a soft golden glow so online it says that it's infused with diamond and rose quartz powders deliver a radiant finish so it's more like a finishing powder to give like that lip from within look or you can also apply it to targeted areas for a soft highlight when i swatched it on my hand it also felt pretty soft and it blends it out really really good like spreading out really really even you can definitely see a shimmer finish but a lot more in natural lighting like in the sun this one actually did also look like it would go for my skin tones i do have it on my face right now i did use it as a finishing powder the brushes feel really really soft the powder brush i was actually expecting it to be a little bigger than this size i do feel like for a powder brush it's a little small it's not a bad thing that it's kind of small because then i can also use it as a highlighter brush the bristles do feel really soft as well as the fan brush so yeah the brushes do actually feel really nice i applied my base foundation concealer and then i did set my foundation and concealer with regular powder and then I went in with the mood light powder and slowly I was able to see some of that shimmer and glow it's definitely really really subtle i was trying to show you guys one side compared to the other side to see the difference on the other side i did use the beauty sponge to apply the powder just applied it directly on my face and then i just started blending it out with the beauty sponge with the beauty sponge it definitely can see more of a glow and it does go on a little bit more pigmented luminous powder would work with my skin because i have oily skin and it's a powder versus using some type of primer that's glowy because it's just gonna make me more oily so i think this is a good powder for oily skin people i do think that it does accentuate my texture and my skin though because highlighter always accentuates textures and especially on my forehead i think i applied too much on my forehead i would use a little bit less than what i did today um i really went in with this powder but everywhere else it looks really really nice the luminous powder comes with 10 grams that's a lot all right so i'm gonna go in with the fan brush i'm gonna dip it in here and grab some of the highlighter and start applying it wow okay that is crazy all right y'all i went in with the tiniest amount of this highlighter and wow i don't know how i feel about this brush though i think on the other side i'm gonna try using this brush oh my god <laughs> okay we're gonna highlight the cheeks like jacqueline because you know we got them chubby cheeks I'm blending it out and I can see that it's becoming more subtle. I guess if I want it to be more intense, I would apply like 
just a little bit more, but not blend it out so much. Just apply it on my nose. Pupil flow. I'm gonna use the other brush now on this side. I'm gonna grab a little bit with the fan brush. I actually feel like this shade is like perfect for my skin tone because it blends in really, really nicely into my skin so that it doesn't look so harsh. I actually was expecting it to be like super, super harsh and like super metallic. I do feel like this shade is definitely good for like medium skin tones. It doesn't look glittery at all like on the skin. It does look a little powdery, just a little bit, but I haven't put on any makeup setting spray. I think when it first goes on, it looks pretty crazy. You guys see that? But then you blend it out. Uh, it looks pretty normal doesn't feel gritty or like there's any glitter in there it feels really really smooth it doesn't create like a big mess like other loose highlighters that's why i don't really normally use loose highlighters because they're kind of messy sometimes but this highlighter is pretty smooth but in my opinion once it's blended out it just looks like a normal highlighter nothing really that special about the highlighter yes it is pretty i do like the finish it looks like a wet finish and i do feel like it would be nice for like bridal makeup and things like that i guess it just blends in with my skin tone because of the shade so i do like how it looks now after applying makeup setting spray so the mood light luminous powder in all shades is vegan so this one right here it's vegan the beaming light loose highlighter in the shade megawatt is vegan so this one in the shade high vault is not vegan also all of the brushes are vegan accent light highlighter palette in the shade flare is vegan i feel like the powders have been on my skin a little bit longer to like melt into the skin a little bit more and i can see that my skin is freaking glowing my final Final thoughts on the Jaclyn Hill Holiday Collection Catch the Light. I actually like this one. It does give me like that lip from within look. It does work. It actually does make your skin look luminous but I would just use a little bit less next time and I don't have anything like this currently. So yeah I would recommend this if you're looking for something similar to this. The brushes. Okay so I really like the brushes. I like the quality of the bristles of the brushes and they're really really nice brushes i love the glitter i think this is just good enough to highlight i don't need a fan brush unless you're doing precision work but if you don't really need that or need to do that then you don't need the fan brush beaming light highlighter i actually think that this was like super hyped up because i thought it was going to be like super intense highlight but it just turns out to be like a pretty normal highlighter i've seen highlighters that have given me like the same finish and look before it is a good formula it's smooth for a loose highlighter i do think it does have a good formula compared to like other loose highlighters that i have tried and i really like the shade high vault for my skin tone it doesn't look glittery i do like the beaming highlighter i can see that they have improved a lot from the first launch of jaclyn cosmetics to this one i do still think that there are some things that they could improve on more transparency and things like that these are pretty good products they're not like shitty products i do give her some props for this collection even though it's supposed to be a limited edition collection which i thought that these were going to be permanent and i don't really like that they made these limited edition they should have made these permanent products if you're not happy with the purchase they are accepting returns for like two months or something like that in case you gift it to somebody for for Christmas they're still able to return it if they don't like it so that's also another good thing that they have improved on on the customer service as well so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below are you kind of over Jacqueline cosmetics do you not trust her anymore are you purchasing anything from the collection do you think it's just highlighters nothing special let me know thank you so much for watching I love you guys and I will see you in my next video Collection. So, so, so.
Ew.